So I got this cable that I really wanted for the last six months. And it's a fiber LC cable that I usually connect from my workstation that's down here, which is going up into the wall and over there to my rack for my 10 gig connection. But I'm always changing things around in my rack. And I wanted this cable that was really nice. I was surfing the sfs.com website looking at cables after a recommendation from, I can't remember his name, uh, from uh, my playhouse, the guy in the other country there, I can't remember where he's from, Portugal maybe? Anyways, I asked him, what kind of cable is it that you have that has two strands in one housing? I can't remember what they actually call it. But normally when you buy an opti a fiber optic cable for your computer, it looks like this. This is the one that I use for my workstation. See how it's got two, one's transmit, one's receive? Well, the cable that I got right here in a box that was shipped to me is both cables in one. And I've been waiting for this cable for a long time. Just like how I've been waiting for a lot of subscribers to like and share my videos. So, today, we're going to talk about this FS cable that I got. It's called a LC UPC to LC flat clip uniboot cable. Now, if we look at this cable here, we can see if I'm not in the way. Am I in the way? Nope. No, nope, I'm not in the way. As you can see, it's one cable in its own jacket. And it's got a lot of cool features to it. It looks like you can reverse the clip on it. Uh, right about here. This clip comes off so you can turn it around. And it's supposed to be really durable. And that was the whole purpose I wanted a cable because I'm always unplugging and plugging things into different switches over there. So instead of using this cable, I was going to buy the other cable. So. I reached out to FS.com and said, I want to buy one of those cables because I want to review it on my channel. And they said, well, how about you just get one and you can review it. So they shipped me one. Now, I always get really excited about cables. As we can tell, I got boxes of them beside me here. But this one is supposed to be unique. Let's have a look. So we got the FS box. It's in there tight. Oh, yeah. Holy. What do we got? We got a note. A 5 meter, 16 foot, LC UPC to LC UPC flat clip uniboot. I'll put the link to the video or this product in the video down below. And the um, specs. Cool. Yep. And it's tiny. Well, not too, too tiny, but it's the cable. Right? Let's see what this feels like. Oh, kind of feels rubbery, so it's kind of... And I think in the menu here, it says... I was reading... The Uniboot design allows one carry to bo carry both fibers, both strands, probably, reducing cable congestion when routing. It is suitable to be used in high-density fiber patching in data centers, which need space-saving redundant cable management. Okay. Uh, it's reverse polarity design allows for click and quick and easy polarity conversion without exposing the fibers. Exactly, because sometimes maybe you have one end that's supposed to be um, that's supposed to be send send and receive, but you've got the cable backwards, so it's not working right. So huh. this should just pop. Oh yeah, it does. Those are just little protective boots. Well, that's kind of cool. Got like a little. Protective boots on there. Cool. We'll leave those on in a couple minutes. We'll change this cable out and have a look. But I thought there was a diagram here somewhere. So yeah, here we go. In here, we got two millimeter uniboot cable, Corning BIF fiber. I'm not sure what BIF stands for, but. Maintain the highest performer while bending, pat, pinching, and stretching. It feels rubbery, so it feels kind of nice and flexible, right? Um, Suncoal Flat Clip LC. 
I don't know. Looks like you're supposed to be able to move it. Oh, looks, oh yeah, there's a little spacer there. You can pull it out and twist it, so, okay. Yep, unlock the latch from the back. Yep. Uh, push sideways. I don't see anything to push. I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to try that. But anyways, as we can see here in the video, rotate the connector 180 degrees and then push it back in. Yeah, so that would mean that make it so that way the tip of this can be changed around. Pretty cool. Let's take it out and connect it to my workstation and see how well it works. The whole reason why I really got this is because I unplug and move this cable around so much. I wanted something a little bit durable. And uh, yeah, so now I got one. One blue cable to my workstation. We will unplug it, and I'm going to plug it into my workstation. But let's see how good it clips into this. I brought an LC connector to see how it clip. You guys see this? So we got a 10 gig G10 adapter. Oh, it goes in there nice. I like how it's got a nice um, releasing. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. This is going to make my life easier working in the lab and working on switches. Okay, let's plug it into the uh, into the desktop. You'll see that the screen here is going to go off, so let's look at this. So we'll see down here. Oh, yes, that plugs in nice when it's actually in an LC, in a, a network card. Okay, came back online and it's working. Do we have a 10 gig link? Let's look. 10 gig link. I would say that's success. Now, I'm not going to do any speed tests or anything like that right now because I put Sophos on this um, machine and I have to figure out a setting to make, to make my network connectivity go full speed. Right now, it's kind of limited because I have a policy in there that is limiting this network card speed. So, other than that, uh, that's an awesome cable. Very good, like it feels like this. An Amazon one, like the I only buy the cheap ones because they break them all the time. This Amazon one has been this one's been the longest one I've lasted. Kind of feels plasticky, but the FS.com one, which is down here, single cable and there's a fiber two fiber optic cables in there, it feels rubbery. And they say it's supposed to have a good radius to bend. I mean I don't want to break it right away, but it doesn't feel it's not hard you know what i mean it's a really soft bendable flexible cable so i'm sure this one's going to last a lot longer and the clip on the end when you push it down feels feels better than this like this doesn't the amazon ones they work i mean fiber optic cables are not designed to be like ethernet cables where they're in and out every day because you're getting dust in them and stuff like that but that one over there i'll probably unplug a lot and it feels really good so I'm gonna order some more FS cables like that maybe some shorter ones and do some patch ones in my rack because they look really nice and they're not even that expensive so if we take this cable and look at this $27 Canadian for a 16 foot um, LC cable it's pretty cheap and the three foot let's see what the 15 bucks I don't think they make anything shorter but for in the rack and for your lab and stuff like that, these would be perfect. So, I'll put a link to the end of the video, and I will do some speed tests in one of my other videos and show you guys that I'm using it some more, and go from there. FS.com, thank you for sending me the cable, and uh, these are really nice. You guys have a great day. Go like and subscribe to the video too, okay? Please. See you later.